The past few months have been chaotic and no, pff, not the virus, more of mental chaos. I woke up every day and intoxicated myself with social media where everyone, like literally everyone, is a success story. The lack of building my mother a house at 19 or moving to Bali one day and become another success experiment. And no, I'm not mad at them. I mean, it's not about them, it's more about me. At the end of this video, I don't aim to be a motivation speaker. But listen, just hear me out. So for those that do not know me, my name is Joven GK. I do lifestyle and travel videos. And in November last year, I graduated for my degree. And the moment that is expected to be the happiest moment of my life, I've been looking forward for this day for forever. Changed to be a not very happy, pleasant story. I went through a lot of anxiety. I felt depressed. I had so many things calculating in my mind and I'm here to share my phase or oh, the lesson that I've learned from the transition process from uni to adulting and just get into the real world and do the real world things and just the overwhelming responsibilities that come after university and everything and I'm only doing this video because I feel like women talk more about these things than male individuals on this platform so I thought since there's a gap between why not fill it in so this video is all, all gonna be about my lessons of my transition period adulting we're gonna be talking all 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 we're going to be covering literally everything so please stay tuned but before we really dive in into the video i just want to announce the winners of my giveaway that i did the end of last year so thanks to everybody that entered participated on my giveaway 5000 subscriber giveaway i know it's overdue um i was about to announce the winner last year even before christmas but here we are it's just a ghetto i'm i'm not gonna lie uh, so basically I've folded the names in this jar here and so everyone has an equal chance Inside here are the names of the people that participated and followed the rules So I'm gonna give it a shake Then I'm gonna close my eyes randomly Randomly Okay, I'm closing my eyes now Pick a winner so this is the winner of the, my 5,000 subscribers giveaway, which is $50 voucher. So the winner of this one, the name here should check DM me on Instagram to know how I'm going to be sending that prize. And the winner is Sipesile Bonambi. Okay, I'm sorry because I'm sure I'm pronouncing your word name wrong. But the winner is Sifesile Bonambi. I'm gonna pin the name, a comment which is written the name of this winner. So I hope you should watch this video and get back to me for your prize. Thank you guys so much for your support. So let's continue with the video. So I've written down some of the lessons that I've learned during this period. So the period that I'm talking about is when, so I finished university and I need to move into the second step. Usually all these things in an African home are usually planned. Your parents always plan when you're going to study, where you're going to study, the degree you're going to take, right? It might, be, have been, it might have been different a little bit from my side because my mother didn't really force me to study anything in particular. But as well, this is the structure that is generally speaking for other African households or children in other African households. So from moving to being told what to do and now to make your own decisions if you want a job applying for your own job and everything it can get overwhelming and i'm letting you know right now if you're a person who is watching this who hasn't graduated or so this point in your life you need to stick yourself together you need to get prepared mentally more than anything because it's the ghetto like it's the ghetto. The past few months I've been the ghetto. But this is some of the lessons that I've learned through that and I feel like you also need to know some of these lessons that I've learned. But as well, if you do know any life lessons that you've learned through course of your life, please leave a comment down below so we can educate each other and share 
valuable resources in the beginning of the year and save someone's life. So the first one is stay on your own lane. <clears throat> it's easier spoken than done. But listen, you need to stay on your own lane. You need to know where you're coming from and where you're going based on your own story. Don't compare yourself with another person's um, track. Be on your track. Go on the speed that you're going, but on your side. Stop looking left, right, and center. Focus on you. Focus on your lane. And period. Oh my God, okay. Period. Uh, the other one is comparison is the fifth of joy. So in the past few months, I've been comparing myself to all the YouTubers that you know. And I found reasons for all of them to not like I deserve what they have more than they do do you get it so so that's why I didn't even post for the longest because I had a very toxic mentality where I thought I deserved more than I have literally I actually don't to think about it you know those people have worked hard and they deserve what they do so that being the reason I couldn't even celebrate small things that are happening in my life because I'd be like oh, because now I'm comparing myself, I will, I'll be like, I'm going to be celebrating 5,000 subscribers with so much joy, but someone else is celebrating 100. So I'm belittling my own success because of my comparison. And I ended up not being happy, which is not the state of mind you want to be, especially in the phase of transition. The other one is be selfish and put yourself first. So... I'm gonna let you know right now, this is one of the things that really helped me. Even quitting my YouTube with a few months that I didn't post, that was me being selfish to my mental health, being selfish to what I believe is best for me. And for me, that was to take some time off, chill down, and think before I come back here and produce content, produce content that do not only add value, but I also maybe don't feel happy while doing the content so be selfish pick yourself first your mom wants you to do your honors your mother wants you to do your honor your masters you're in a point where you need to pick yourself now and say mom i don't think this is what i want to do now i want to be an entrepreneur i want to be a makeup artist and this is the path i want to go don't compromise i was saying another lesson that i've learned is if you want it you're gonna go for it and that's <coughs> I still, I keep getting high kick-ups when I say period. So if you want it, you're going to go for it. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to become the next successful businessman, successful YouTuber, you're going to put in the work. If you want that body, you're going to get it. If you do the diet, if you eat healthy, if you consistently train. So I feel like the past few months, I've learned that I've been all my life, wanting things but I don't want to do them if it makes sense like I would want to be successful on YouTube but complain I've been posting for four years but I've not been successful but child you've been posting for three years but you posted once a month you posted only a couple of videos in a year you see so it's like where is your effort and also sometimes you need to know even if you put maximum effort and it doesn't work you have to make it work. You have to re-strategize your life for it to make it work. Okay. I'm, I'm schooling you all today. Another lesson that I've learned is social media is overrated. Social media is overrated. What you see on social media, don't let it drive your mind. It has done that to me. That's why I'm telling you not to. People post the most glamorous time on social media, especially Instagram. Instagram is toxic as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, that application is toxic. So Instagram is toxic in the terms of, it can intoxicate you so much because people post their most glamorous life and it's just one picture. And you gotta think that's where people live, that's where, where they work, that's how much they earn. And you're gonna feel bad about yourself and feel depressed just because of social media these things is not right we all go through problems i go through problems i don't post them on social media i do a bit because i want to be relatable in terms of i want to be accountable and people to understand because i'm an influencer i'm a social media personality youtube but for other people majority of people do not post they're not they don't post the reality the real life they go through 
so they only post the glamorous life so if you yourself post only the good times what makes you think other people don't post only the good times so why are you mad why are you stressing yourself because someone else is living a life that you think you should leave work for it but social media is overrated don't get social media get into your head hello so guys thank you very much we have come to the end of the video i'm currently editing the video right now so it should be up on thursday today thank you guys so much for just like being here to everybody that's gonna watch this video to this point you are the baddest please leave me any comments of life lessons that you have learned because of your life let me know anything or things that you wish to see in this channel moving forward but otherwise subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram boom 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 we are back and better <laughs> my name is joven chick and i'm a confused 24 year old i have to do that again oh what it is you need to focus and But your camera is not 4K. Patricia Bright didn't start with a 4K camera. Wow.